Number one, don't eat or drink too much. Eating too much is a common mistake made by many who fast during Ramadan. Once it's time to eat, we eat and drink like there's no tomorrow, overloading our stomachs until it's difficult to move. This then makes us lazy and unproductive. Keep in mind that Ramadan is about self-control, not self-indulgence. So let's try to stick to the prophetic rule on eating, fill our stomachs with one-third food, one-third water, and one-third breathing space, inshallah. Number two, give daily charity. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was always generous, but even more so during the month of Ramadan. The rewards for charity are increased so much during Ramadan that we strongly advise everyone who can to donate a little amount every single day during Ramadan. The reward will be multiplied many times. This way you can also guarantee your donation is on Layat al-Qadr, the night of power. A person who donates only 10 pounds on Layat al-Qadr will have the reward of donating 300,000 pounds of charity. Subhanallah, don't miss out. Number three, pray five times a day. During the month of Ramadan, you will find the masjids completely packed out during tarawih prayers, which is amazing. But then during the five daily prayers, you will notice the masjids are nowhere near as packed. Unfortunately, many people have mixed up their priorities. The fard, obligatory five daily prayers have been put below the sunnah, Tarawih prayers. Although nobody can deny the importance of the Tarawih prayers, which comes with an abundance of rewards and blessings, the five daily prayers will always be greater and above all the Sunnah or optional prayers. So please do not neglect your obligations this month. Number four, month of the Quran. During Ramadan, many Muslims try to finish the Quran as fast as possible. Some people finish reciting it two, three, or even five times. Subhanallah, as though it's a speeding competition. It is recited without any understanding or contemplation. Although there is always benefit in reciting the verses of the Quran, there is a greater benefit in reciting with understanding because the purpose of the Quran is to guide mankind. And how can we be guided if we don't take time to understand the verses? So make this the month you truly connect with the Qur'an. Number five, attain taqwa, God consciousness. The Qur'an prescribes fasting for the believers in these words. O oh, you who have believed, decreed upon you is fasting as it was decreed upon those before you, so that you may attain taqwa. Hence, the intent and effect of fasting as described in this verse is to acquire taqwa. Presence of taqwa helps protect a believer from committing sins and to overcome the nafs desires. There is no equivalent English word for taqwa. In Islamic terminology, taqwa refers to a state of consciousness where one constantly feels the presence of his creator, obeys his commands to attain his pleasure and avoids disobedience to him, not only out of his fear, but also for the love of him. These are just five tips from the Merciful Servant team, wishing you all a very blessed Ramadan. Please share these tips with your friends and family and let us know if you want to see more top 5 videos this Ramadan.